What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today I have a lot to talk to you guys about regarding the iOS 9, iOS 8.4, and iOS 8.3 jailbreaks. So there's a lot of confusion right now, what to wait for, what's going on, and I just wanna clear a little bit of that up. In my last jailbreak update, I did say that a jailbreak was happening. The Pangu jailbreak team did discuss the fact that the jailbreak was complete, they did demo it at the actual event, and they did have intentions of releasing it once iOS 8.4 was out. So what's changed since then? Well, first off, iOS 9 was announced. This new firmware is pretty cool. I mean, it has a lot of nice features in it. Nothing too groundbreaking, but it's a nice addition, especially for older devices, newer ones alike. It reduces storage size speeds up the system, makes battery life a little bit better. What's not to like? Well, iOS 9 could cause problems for future jailbreaking, but let's talk about iOS 8.4 for now. So iOS 8.4 is gonna be out on June 30th. That's the official date given to us by Apple. Alongside iOS 8.4, Apple will launch the new Beats Music streaming service as predicted. So it's gonna be a subscription-based service and you know, you're gonna be able to stream all of your music all in one place, have them on your phone for offline use as well even. But you know, that's all pretty cool. iOS 8.4 brings with it a number of new changes and with the official release date being June 30th now uh, we can expect a jailbreak fairly soon after then. Now the jailbreak team did not confirm that they would release a jailbreak immediately after but it's all speculation based on the fact that iOS 8.4 will not patch any exploits currently found in 8.3 so hopefully iOS 8.4 gets released on June 30th. A few days after that, maybe a week, I don't even know, but hopefully we see a jailbreak very soon after then. There even has been a report that it would be in July that we would see this jailbreak, but you know we really don't know at the moment. We just know it is coming. But I just wanna let you guys know that iOS 8.3, 8.2, and 8.1.3 will all be able to be jailbroken by this newest firmware, by Pangu. All right, so there you go. That's the current status, June 30th. After then, jailbreak is almost guaranteed to come out thanks to the Pangu jailbreak team. So let's focus on the horizon, iOS 9. It's coming out super soon and a lot of people are gonna be faced with this problem. Do I stay on iOS 8.4 or do I update to iOS 9 and enjoy all the latest features? 8.4 of course being jailbroken. Well, a jailbreak can add iOS 9 features to iOS 8.4. So the new features shouldn't be an excuse to go to iOS 9. The only reason I would skip the jailbreak to go to iOS 9 is because of the battery life, the the performance and the stability. Those are all promised to be better on iOS 9 and that's not really something a jailbreak can deliver or has in the past in my experience. So that's one reason to update to iOS 9. As for features, I promise you guys, most of those will be available on iOS 8.4 for all devices. So that's not a valid excuse to update to iOS 9. But you know, anyways, iOS 9 itself, let's talk about iOS 9. There was a lot of speculation and talk about iOS 9 being rootless. Basically, Apple would code iOS 9 to to where it would have no root access, even for the administrator on iOS devices. Same thing for OS 10, you know, it would be very difficult for people to make modifications to their computer, but that is reversible on the computer, not so much on the iPhone. So this new rootless thing, does it exist in iOS 9 now that it's all official? Well, there are trace amounts of it in iOS 9. It has been confirmed to exist in OS 10.11 El Capitan. So that means between now beta one and the official release, Apple could fully implement this rootless thing. And you know, that's bad news. This thing could make jailbreaking very hard, if not impossible, but there's good news as well. So in a challenge to Apple, there's a new jailbreak team coming from China called Keen, and that's K33N. So they're responsible for actually a couple big things. First off, they found a huge exploit in Safari that would allow you to take control of somebody's computer from your very own. Now this team is also responsible for rooting the Samsung Galaxy S6 with a ping pong root method. And that's basically their history. So they meddled with Safari and with the Galaxy S6. So what's to stop them from probing iOS 9. And I actually read a really funny comment on Reddit, so I'm gonna credit that guy because it made me laugh. But basically the Keen team is the team that pulls up in a black tinted out AMG SL65. They open the door and they say, move over, we're taking over. So they're basically the team that's you know up there. And they've made a lot of money, about $60,000 by doing the Galaxy S6 route and the Safari exploit. So there's a lot of money to be made here. The reason, the reason there's so many jailbreak teams working towards a jailbreak is ultimately there is a very large profit in it and it's rumored and I'm actually sourcing this from Forbes that about a million dollars could be in the works for whoever creates this jailbreak and that's thanks to the third-party app stores that come pre-installed in these jailbreak tools so they actually pay them a little bit of the profits and 
believe it, there is a ton of money here. So it really makes sense that a lot of people are going to be working towards this jailbreak. But this new team, they have a promising past. And the fact that this rootless system isn't implemented in iOS 9 just yet could mean that there is hope for an iOS 9 jailbreak. Now, I'm not going to say anything beyond that. It's all speculation, but there is somebody working on it. Whether or not that will result in a jailbreak, we don't know. But 8.4, 8.3 should not be affected by this whatsoever. I mean, Pangu is working independently, but this Keen Jailbreak team might be reaching out to Pangu to help with some exploits because they needed between three to five exploits in order to make iOS 9 jailbreakable. Right now they have two. Those are the ASLR and DEP bypasses. So that's just two of many exploits needed, but they've got their foot in the door right now. As long as Apple doesn't implement this rootless thing, which they probably will, it would be a lot easier to find a jailbreak if Apple didn't implement rootless, but if they do, you know, there will always be someone that's going to be working on this, trying to break through, showing Apple, you know, that that's not a means to an end. There will always be a way to get in. And the really cool thing that this Keen Jailbreak team said was that they're not interested in the commercial side of jailbreaking. You know, that money, that's not why they're doing it. They said they want to do it just to prove Apple wrong, just to prove that this challenge can be overcome. The fact that it's unrootable, you know, you can't get in there and try and do that to prove everybody wrong. That is really respectable. I like that. So basically, this team is going to be working on the iOS 9 jailbreak. Pangu might collaborate with them for future jailbreaks, but for now, the iOS 8.4 and 8.3 jailbreak, it should not be affected by this. But don't hold me on that because I'm not sure if they could save it, I would hurt inside. I've been waiting for this for way too long. I mean, we all have. I really hope they release it for 8.4. If they do wait for iOS 9, they better be sure they can jailbreak it. Anyways, guys, so that's pretty much it. Wait for iOS 8.4 June 30th. After then, we should expect a jailbreak, but we've got a little bit of waiting left to do. We're almost in the clear. And one last thing, if you guys are wondering where you should be at right now, if you're jailbroken on 8.2 beta 2, 8.1.2, stay there just in case. If you're not jailbroken, you're on 8.1.3, 8.2, go ahead and update to 8.3, the latest version. That's where you should be if you're waiting for a jailbreak. If you're on iOS 9 betas, just consider the fact that you will have to downgrade back to iOS 8.4 in the future. So don't stay there. And you can't restore backups from iOS 9 to iOS 8.4 or 8.3. So also consider that. So anyways, guys, hope this little update gave you some information about the current status of the jailbreak. There's some hope on the horizon about iOS 9. This new team shows promise and let's see what they can come up with. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Enjoy your on jailbroken devices for just a little bit longer. Peace.